Hi, this is Rick again with my Fender Road Worn 50s Telecaster that I just got. Um, I like this guitar so much that I'm doing a second video with it. Uh, and besides, it's Tele Tuesday. Woohoo! So, um, what's interesting about this video is, well, probably not much about this video, but um, what I find interesting is uh, using a different pedal. Um, for my drive, and that is the Moore Hustle Drive. But I'm not just using the Hustle Drive. I'm using the Hustle Drive um, plugged into uh, in a place on my pedal board uh, where it is in between uh, two exotic effects pedals. Um, that's XO. TIC exotic effects. Um, so there's the exotic effects SP compressor before the drive, and then after the drive, there is the uh, exotic effects EP booster. And I'm, I'm not an expert at this, but I think what's happening is um, I'm putting a medium compression on the sound, and so it's uh, it's taming the tone mm. coming from the Telecaster, so to speak. So it's not too much biting highs and um, that's being fed into the um, into the Hustle Drive. Now the Hustle Drive is a really bright fizzy pedal. What it is is a clone of the um, full tone OCD pedal. So without without these two pedals it sounds like very bright. This isn't really terrible. It does have a little fizz that I don't like that much. If I put the compressor before it, it's going to give it a little boost of signal. It's giving it a little more sustain. And then when I add the EP booster after it, this is going to punch in some low end, more volume, and really. It's like, um, like I've heard uh, some folks say that when you put the, whatever pedal you put last in your drive chain is really the pedal that's going to color your tone the most. Um, and so I kind of have the EP booster uh, stealing away the tone coloring job from the hustle drive. But the hustle drive is still providing what it provides, which is this nice rich overdrive. still not too much.
can do this with other pedals too. Um, the Electro Harmonic Soul Food is not. I bought this pedal for two reasons. First, it's cheap, and it was like seventy bucks, brand new. Um, and the second reason is that uh, it has a um, it has a good buffer in it, and so I like to throw a lot of pedals on a pedal board, and. I'm afraid that it's going to suck some of my tone, but I'm not that afraid. I mean, I just, whatever. It still sounds good. But this whole food's distortion isn't really. Not that great. I mean, it makes me play boring, you know. If I try to play exciting. It still sounds good, but... With the compressor going into it... Kind of takes away that flubby fizziness. add my EP booster which by the way the EP booster is not set very high it's only uh, maybe like 9 30 10 o'clock on the on the knob um, but now I have this gorgeous tone lots of sustain but very clean um, and if I dig in Basket of tone, I'm calling this. One other pedal, I'll do the same thing with is the more rumble drive another more pedal um, it's a good sounding pedal it's supposed to be like a uh, a dumble clone pedal dumble in a box kind of thing like a zen drive or like a cymbal or like a uh, what is the other one that does this uh, I can't think of it maybe euphoria anyway and I have it set really light distortion. This is not this is not too much gain at all. But what I don't think about this is the fact that I hear too much clean tone. Almost like the distortion is um, on a separate channel and it's being bled in or blended in. So Again, if I put the EP booster in front, I mean the uh, the uh, SP compressor in front of it. That's already way, way better. And then, the real magic here, the uh, EP booster.
those pedals all sound really good um, being sandwiched in with these two other pedals, uh, the two exotic effects pedals, the uh, SP compressor and the EP booster, in that order. As always, thank you very much, and I hope you subscribe because I'd like to have more subscribers. It's a lot of fun. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.